since we had to go through all the whole fucking trouble of setting up this camera and getting ready so we can have an intro for you guys and an outro. Um, welcome. Um, this is number... Uh, I think we're talking nowadays what it's called is... Um, I don't even have it written down. Uh, I think Rock D2 Movie Collectors Music Show. I think that's the official title of my TV show. It's, it's gone so many different directions. It's, I, I think you all remember it being Robert Gonzalez show one time. Maybe. Doesn't even matter. Everybody who knows who the hell I am, who's been watching me faithfully for weeks, months, years, decades, right? Because I think we're up to decades, right? Almost up to a couple decades, I think. Maybe. Uh, shit. Everybody knows who the hell I am. Uh, shit. For a minute, I, I guess I can go ahead and talk about uh, Cowboys from Hell. Might as well. Fucking, uh, it was pretty cool in Tucson back then, shit, when Pantera was fucking cranking shit out. Um, uh, I saw him twice, once in Tucson and once in Phoenix. Nearly got my ass beat by fuck, a shitload of fucking people that were there. It was fucked up. Um, it was in Phoenix, Arizona. So I went all the way from Tucson to Phoenix. Fucking awesome adventure shit, though. Ended up getting beat up like a motherfucker, though, but, uh... It was pretty fucking fun. Um, shit, we got some, you know, you know. Not only are we playing like what or babbling stupid bullshit, but at the same time we're playing good music. So if anybody doesn't want to hear what I gotta say and don't want to hear my babble bullshit, listen to my music. The music that's playing in the background. It's not my music, but it's the world's music. Anybody want any kind of information of the music that's playing in the background of what we show? Write to the TV show, say, maybe say, little letter. I don't know if stamps exist anymore, but if you wanted to write a self, a self uh, address stamp, there ain't really no damn address to write to. <laughs> but you can tap to this and then uh, get more information. To go turn all that up for a little bit, for a few minutes. And I probably shouldn't be showing that like right away, but it doesn't even matter because uh, welcome. Okay, thank you. Fourth uh, of July, Chicago, Buckingham Fountain, Lake Michigan, Lakeside. You guys are gonna see tonight. Uh, got a wonderful surprise for you guys. Uh, uh, right after all this Chicago stuff. I think it's gonna cut right straight to, right to the next footage. We're talking right straight to. Surprise, surprise. Fuck it, we got King Diamond, Mayhem Fest, uh, a couple songs, I think, if I'm not mistaken, right? King fucking Diamond, in Chicago's uh, um, oh, um, fucking Mayhem Fest. I was there, people. I was there. It was fun. It was cool. Slayer, 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 Slayer. Uh, the fucking date of that, I'm not really too sure on the actual date, but fucking... What was it? The... July 12th. Oh, yeah, yeah. July... Got it right there. 12. July 12th. Uh, you know, if you go to youtube.com slash pondocp, go to Rock to D2 Movie Collectors, um, um, Rock to D2, Rob to D2 Movie Collectors Music Show playlist, Facebook, uh, RG Movie Collectors Music Show, Twitter at Rob to D2 Sith Show. You can see all this shit, right? We'll have a little better flyer other than the one I held up for you guys a few minutes ago, um, so you guys can get more information of of, uh, of what the fuck we're doing here. I think I can use some fucking language, right? Fuck it, why not? Fucking a. Uh, 
Fourth of July though, downtown Chicago, Buckingham Fountain, Lake Michigan, Lakeside. We got King Diamond for you guys. And we got fucking Slayer. Motherfucking Slayer, dudes. Okay? Um, that's all I gotta fucking say. I mean, we've progressed from showing the band called Room, which is my band, to fucking Merciful Fate, King Diamond, and fucking Slayer. Merciful Fate and King Diamond is the same people, right? Give or take. King Diamond, Slayer. Fourth of July downtown over there at uh, uh, my producer, a couple guys, my producer especially, was ripping on me saying, you were downtown Chicago, you should have been over there by the fucking Soldier Field on the Fourth of July when you were filming your stupid little fucking fireworks, you could have been having Grateful Dead right in the background. And I just was right there. It just was like about maybe, like not even a mile away, a quarter mile away. Retarded. Sorry, people. But I think we got a little bit of Grateful Dead that we wanted to play in between that, so if you, uh, uh, or something like that. Yeah, because I think we still gotta kinda uh, iron out this show a little bit before it's finally complete for you guys tonight. But uh, 4th of July, get ready. Fucking Chicago, Buckingham Fountain, Lake Michigan, uh, Lakeside, we're right there. Uh, uh, Mayhem Fest 2015, King Diamond, Slayer. You guys get ready. Go get your popcorn now because it's about to begin. Still a few minutes before King Diamond and Slayer, people. So, King Diamond and Slayer. You guys listen to me? Slayer, Slayer, Slayer. King Diamond. Live via satellite, uh, undisclosed location. But well, we're at the, over here at the Buckingham Fountain, <laughs> so it's not so undisclosed. Uh, but uh, downtown Chicago finally made it. Uh, we've been here before downtown Chicago, so it's no big deal to be over here downtown for you guys because we've been here before. Uh, we want to go ahead and take a little look over here behind you over here to uh, Mid Lake Michigan. Pretty cool. Um, we got all the wonderful people right here downtown Chicago getting ready for the fireworks. It's July 4th, 2015. Uh, I'm trying to get ready to see at the same time. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of film me over here downtown Chicago. Pretty fun. Um, having a couple of drinks down here downtown. It's been pretty fun. We got the Taste of Joliet coming over here or Taste of Chicago. Uh, but for the most part, we got the skyscraping city back here. Pretty cool. Um, it's not every day you guys in Tucson because we got a couple more months on on the air over there at Public Access Tucson uh, Where we're gonna go ahead and keep on being on TV. Hey, look at her little phone. It's like a little teddy bear Pikachu Pikachu. But uh, for the most part, we're over here downtown Chicago Uh, it's not like we've never been here before because we've been here before. Uh, I don't really think I've been here in this particular spot here in Chicago, right here at Buckingham Fountain. So this is pretty cool, this monument moment for us, for everybody in the studio who wants to, uh, you know, all the different places and all the different things we've done in, in, in the last uh, 500 TV shows, believe it or not. we got people on bikes right here, look at these little bikes and shit. They're pretty cool. Uh, but we got Taste of Chicago coming over here. I can look at this lady with long ass hair. Still that shit. But for the most part, live via satellite, downtown Chicago, Buckingham Fountain, guys. Uh, sun's about to go down. So, stay tuned for the rest of the show, guys. Look at where they are. I wonder if there's not a, like a little door.
via satellite in disclosed, undisclosed locations right here, uh, downtown Chicago. Uh, I guess it's really undisclosed because look at, we're downtown. Get a shot of all these buildings back here too. Yo, blimp. Blippity blimp. He's blimping. Uh, live via satellite, downtown Chicago. Uh, I really don't have too much to say about this other than we're downtown. Fourth of July. Uh, let me see, you got a lot of people down here too. All the people. Little do all these people know that they're gonna be on TV. Public access, yeah. Live via satellite. Here's a boat right here too. Yeah. Uh, let me see. The only thing I gotta say about this whole situation is uh, what? Fireworks, Navy Pier. Oh yeah, it's Fourth of July. We're getting ready for the fireworks. They're gonna be shooting them off over here at Navy Pier. You can almost see the area of possibly where they're gonna be shot off. Really don't know yet. It's still uh, kind of like afternoon is getting to be towards dusk area or time. All the boats, they're all boating, and we got more ducks too. Look at me. Hey, Ducky. You're on candid camera, Duckies. <laughs> hey, Duck. Quack, 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 quack. Stay tuned for the rest of the show, guys. I know, they cut mine now too. Now it's turning. It. Uh, it looks so much better with on it sideways. Right. Don't see that every day. I know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm getting myself dizzy. <laughs> Woo! Don't see that every day neither. Yeah.
satellite.
being satellite, underscore vocations, Chinley Park, okay, I'll go ahead and admit it, Illinois, Chinley Park, Illinois, Mayhem Fest. Um, you guys got a little bit of a, 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 a sample of Merciful Fate, which is King Diamond. So if you guys go to kingdiamond.com, you'll be able to see more of King Diamond stuff. Get ready for Slayer.
I want to I thank you very much for coming to me. Right? You guys had a good time so far. It's been a long day, hasn't it? We'll try to make this short and sweet, right? It'll seem short, but I'm telling you, I've been playing for a while.
Uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed tonight's fucking segment of uh, what I like to call Rob's D2 Sis, oh, Rob's D2 Movie Collectors Music Show. Hopefully everybody enjoyed tonight's show. All I gotta say is get ready for the next show because when we show up the next show, dudes, if everybody enjoyed Slayer tonight, the 15 minutes of Slayer that I just showed for you guys, that was over at Tweeter Center. The date of that was uh, July 12th, 2015. Uh, King Diamond, Mayhem Fest, 2015. July 12th, Slayer, King Diamond, Mayhem Fest. That was at the Tweeter Center over there in Chicago, that area. Uh, you can probably get more information on, on fucking web pages and all that shit of Slayer. Uh, if you get more of that, you know what I'm saying? That was a pretty fucking good show, so uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Um, I know compared to like Slayer and King Diamond, fucking the stupid 4th of July downtown Chicago, like I was telling earlier, mentioning earlier, that I should have been right there by fucking grateful this. Could I I could have had, even though I would have been a little bit further, uh, you would have been able to see this. Yeah, that probably wouldn't have been good for fireworks. Because it was a ways away. Uh, or it would have been a more ways away. But you could have had Grateful Dead in the background. Sorry, people. Uh, it was the last of the Grateful Dead. They were in Chicago on the 4th of July. That same footage that I was showing earlier uh, of 4th of July, just at the same time, at that same very moment, Grateful Dead was playing at Soldier Field, which was just right there. Because so I was at Buckingham Fountain area, downtown. Chicago. Downtown Chicago. Um, I want to say uh, a shout out to everybody in Arizona. I think I could probably do all that right. Shout out to everybody in Arizona. Uh, Arizona. Uh, the public access TV shows over there, the studios over there that used to help us out to be on, uh, you know, somewhat national because we used to be in the computer access so you can always access down our TV shows back then. Uh, we were all over the fucking trying to beat media, this and media, that, and I'm trying to show out the best things and shit of, of what was happening back then. My, especially my thoughts, that was some fun ass shit. Uh, but now it's converted to this, so hopefully everybody's still enjoying the same shit that we were doing back then. Uh, we got an hour of footage for you guys. Every, uh, I think every two, I don't know how it's going to work anymore these days. Because it's like, it's just there forever, right? You can just see it for what, forever. When the show airs out, you can see it forever after that. Non-stop. So, uh, this is the address that you can go to. So you guys can see all that shit. Right? Go to these addresses. Here, I'll try to get a little closer. Go to these addresses and get more information about us and shit and what the fuck else we're doing out here. And fucking around with and shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody hopefully enjoyed Slayer. Um, here's the fucking Slayer right here, dudes. That's a real beer. Um, it was my pleasure to have gone from taping our band back in the back days, room, even to DRI. Did an interview with DRI. We're gonna be over there at the fucking DRI concert here in Chicago, a place called Reggie's. So anybody gonna be in Chicago back then? Or I know it's. I think we could kind of like do th shit and it's up to date, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, 15 minutes of Chicago. Uh, we got Repentless Disciples and War Ensemble for you guys, and or hopefully you guys enjoyed them songs. Uh, King Diamond had a couple songs from King Diamond. Uh, really appreciate you guys being here tonight. This is almost the end of this show. Uh, first hour, you know, just a little taste. Get you guys ready for the next show because once the next show comes out, All Slayer, 42 minutes. Non stop. We got Mandatory Suicide, Chemical Warfare, Ghost of War, Dead Skin Mask, Hell of Weights, South of Heaven, Rain of Blood, Angel of Death. You know what I'm saying? That's some badass Slayer songs. So get ready for the next show. You guys are going to be able to hear all them songs that I just mentioned. Uh, I wanted to say, Note for Joe, 
when I interviewed Spike Cassidy of DRI, I got stage fright. I call him Spike Lee. Um, I know it's been a long time since I interviewed anybody ever. I don't think I never interviewed because I got so starstruck and, and fucking emotionally like disattached from interviewing then. That was like in 2000, so that was a long fucking time ago. Uh, but, got stage fright. Uh, fucking A, 41 minutes per show, man, for you guys. Each fucking TV show, this is gonna be, you know, so just fucking bear with us. Oh, I was saying earlier something about fucking uh, seven minute in intro, seven minute outros. Holy fuck, I was like doing the numbers of how many minutes that I do some intros and outros for you guys. And when we combined like two shows together, that was like 28 minutes of intro, outro, outtakes. It's like, it's right, it's not an outtake issue because it's, we started from one part and we ended to another, to that same part. And then the, the next part, we kind of like, Record that another seven minutes. Same thing for another show, you know. So, so we combine all these fucking intro outros together. Total of all kinds of different fucking minutes. We're talking like fucking 28 minutes or whatever. That, that's like a whole TV show. If I could just intro outro a TV show, I could make a TV show out of my intros and outros. <laughs> that made no sense, but uh. uh Good night. Thanks for being here. I think it's pretty much late at night still, right? I don't even know. You can see this forever anyways. Or, good day. Bye. You guys take it easy.